welterweight title fight between Tyron Woodley and the Hall of Famer, Hoist Gracie. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So two years, the gap in age, some differences in height and reach. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 13 wins, two losses, and two draws. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Introducing the challenger, Royce Racing. And now introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 19 wins, seven losses, and one draw. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Tyron. The chosen one, Woodley! All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it fair. Mission specialist on one side and on the other side, maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this world. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon because that one skill he has 
is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Nice punch there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, as a lot of people have said, he did not want to stand on a napkin and trade in the center of the octagon with this opponent. As such, clinches here. He's a very smart fighter. He's very safe. And in the clinch, he understands that he's not in any danger because he's so good when he's in a clinch. Right punches there. Well, T. Wood's been waiting for an opportunity to set up that right hand and set it up beautifully there. A-plus athlete is Tyron Woodley. He can explode into you at such a high pace that before you can respond, you could be staring up at the lights. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Got the single collar tie. Lands with the right hand. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. It's work. I'm gonna stand this up. Work him with the elbow. Send it till you end it. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Lands the ground and pound strike. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Nicely done. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. to go in the opening round. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, big, big hammer fist lands. It's over, it's about to be over, John. If he doesn't do right now, his night is gonna be over. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top. I would... All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, oh, posture oh. up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, oh, and just oh, really oh. wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though 
They were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by the chosen one. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, collar tie. Huge knee land. And they clinch once again. Oh, beautiful execution. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. And he's out. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm tangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. And he's out. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Wood. Just over three minutes to go. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Standing over his opponent here and making these strikes count. Beautiful sequence there by the chosen one. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Woodland. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Just over two minutes to go. Scramble and go! Scramble and go! Yep. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, single collar tie now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, a huge block there. takedown attempt, but he does not land it. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. 
20 seconds to go round two. Ah, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Oh, single collar tie here. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Two rounds in the books. Oh. All right, let's get you some pictures from that previous round. DC, a lot of good work with the ground and pound strike. Yeah, he was able to control posture, get himself postured up, land big ground and pound as he ended the round. What a great finish to a fantastic round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. And how about the ground and pound skills in the previous round? His opponent better make some adjustments or mom's not going to recognize him. <laughs> You're funny. He's got no action to change this because the, this guy on top is so good with his pressure. He's not even controlling your body with his hands. And that's the detail that everybody's missing. He's sitting in that half guard, and his bottom half is securing his opponent. So his top half is moving, it's adjusting. He's posting his hand on his, on his face, dropping elbows. When he's able to pull back, he's throwing his punches. There is a real, real, right. there is a real intelligence in his approach to his ground and pound. And it's truly, truly great to watch. It is unbelievable to watch a guy so skilled in such an important area of fighting. It's work, guys, come on. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Let's go. Let's get that take down now. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. In the clinch, big body punch, digging his entire hip into every single strike. Great punch, landed with so much power. Oh, rips the body shot there. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Left eye starting to swell significantly now. Tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. And he landed the right hand there. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Right on the button. Nice punch lands over the top. Clean with the right hook. Oh, big elbow. immediately gets the underhook. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Tie. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Left hand punch to the clinch. 
Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Seconds to go. Final seconds of round three. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. So here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. He's wide open. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch in the clinch. Pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time his opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Woodley gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Single collar tie now. A little single collar tie there. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. It's hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. Then three minutes to go here in round number four. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at the control in the posture as that big knee lands. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badger in that left side of the body. Just over two minutes to go in the round. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie.
Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, Sweet Lynn. Battle for position here. Into the final minute now of this championship fight. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. 45 seconds remain in the round. All right, let's go, let's go. 30 seconds now to go in the round. More than one, more than one. 20 seconds left. All right, Muay Thai clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Here we go, fifth and final round. Lands the right hand. Oh, effective strike there by Woodland. Man, the attacks keep on coming, and now he's relegated to using just one eye. So swollen now on the left side. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the ball. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And now he's got that tie clinch. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Oh! Huge right hand! Big diving punch. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Beautiful kick. Big punch from the clinch. Knee to the body. strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming so just the way he drew it up exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win So there he is, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. What a finish he turned in here tonight as he gets it done by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop for this contest. At one minute, 43 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still.
So the celebration is officially on after a successful UFC welterweight title defense here tonight. He will go out the same way he came in as the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. He is your winner by knockout. And what a way to send a statement to the rest of the contenders in this division that it is going to take a monumental effort to dethrone this 170-pound king.